The Delinquent Trilogy ends today with the misadventures up at Ubu High School. Comedy, fights, and seeing a high school kid get to bone the school nurse. What more could you ask for? Well, actually, a lot more, which is why this anime fell beneath my expectations. <laughs> that isn't to say it doesn't entertain. Matter of fact, I really enjoyed this, but it does fall pretty short in a lot of ways. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what Shibai Taraka, Can I Kick Your Ass, is about, but per usual, that may be its greatest selling point. It gives you a little of this and a little of that, energy-wise, flowing from something lighthearted to pretty serious back to playing around again. It follows the rivalry between Karia and transfer student Yakada as they enter the age-old dominance Olympics for control over the school. Honestly though, the power struggle weighs more on Karia's side, that's Blondie right there, as Yakada is a little weird. He doesn't hesitate to fight, and he lays dudes down with the quickness, but he also cares about the school's flowers and tends to act a little flamboyant often. Not flamboyant flamboyant, but like being respected isn't really a priority to him. Which totally throws everyone off, it doesn't match the thuggy demeanor he carries on first impression. There's an issue many people have with him, a lot of it is cause he's a perv, as expected, but there's more that they don't vibe with and the show exploits that through the school student and teacher body. This lasts until towards the first episode's ending, when Karia gets put in the hospital and his crew approaches Yakada for help, and that ends the episode with a battle between him and the dude who laid Karia out. Yeah, and the two do end up fighting on the same side in the second half of the OVA. The thing that was clever about the writing was that the show twists the aggressive appeal that Yakada brings to the show and flips it into him being a regular person that means no trouble. He'll do things like walk around trying to measure women's bodies and all of that, just for you to discover that at the end, he just wanted to measure the girls who match the girl that he really wanted, Manami, and he's trying to figure out a size to buy her for a sweater. And the show offers these kind of coincidences over and over again, and this added to the story. Yeah, you get the green light on this from me, man. It's got its own thing going for it, though it's very much at times, and in the early minutes you wonder if this is as much as you're going to see with all the gags and juvenile activities. But it knew how to progress things like bringing you Yakuza in the story here and there. All the derogatory things you can expect like I mentioned earlier, aggressive sexual innuendo and pervertedness, violence and all of that, are here. But delivered in a more goofier sense than the other two OVAs we spoke on in the previous two videos. Of course there's tons of fighting but you should know it's very lazily animated so it's not very attractive in the way where it'll leave an imprint on you. Lots of blood spraying across the screen though to make up for it. Anyways, most of what you'll enjoy from this will circulate around the characters and how they interact with one another, specifically speaking on the comedy. This anime is hella funny cause of how stupid it could be at times and Yakada is just an interesting and quite frankly juxtaposition of a character. He doesn't carry as much ego where in contrast a dude like Karia is nothing but egocentric. So you soak up the best of both worlds between personality deliveries of the two. Art, animation, music. I mean the music is nothing out the ordinary when it does play but as far as the visuals, you've been watching the footage all this time and I'm sure you already noticed that this is most definitely a lower budget to work with across the board. Even the audio of the recording for the voice acting sounds a little amateur, like the engineer wasn't the greatest or at least didn't put as much time into the mix. Not really make or break things, but definitely a holdback. Despite that, trust me, I enjoyed this far more than the intro I wrote probably suggested. It's a different frequency of the delinquent anime experience, and it could have went either way. Admittedly, I should mention the second episode is weaker though, the Dracula gang or whatever they were called that come into the mix so just keep that in mind if you decide to check it out. I couldn't find one review for this thing, not in Mal's review section, not a random write up online and damn sure not a YouTube video. So for now, this is probably the only covering anyone will find of this thing. See I believe in preserving history man, or history might as well just be obsolete. And I'll continue to talk about these things until I burn out of interest completely, or whatever. That's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed those three delinquent series and make sure you go check them out. Like the video, comment down below what y'all want to see next. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Anime back when.